welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a back and bicep workout for you guys. We've been a little MIA when it comes to the YouTube video wise. You know, we still upload shorts, but for the videos, we have we've been slacking, I'm not gonna lie. So before we get into the video, I wanna do a little update for my weight. Bro, 165. I'll minus like a pound or two because of the phone and everything in the shoes, but 163, 164 area. I haven't really been getting my calories in the last two days, but let's see what I weigh right now. Step off. Yeah, minus like three pounds from that. So right now I've been, oh, right now I've been around like 175 to around like 177. That's where my weight's been fluctuating right now. The only thing I got to do is drink more water and eat a lot more. <clears throat> Y'all boys are going to see. I'm about to catch Zay. How's it feel? We're only 10 pounds apart now. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> He's mad. Look at his smile on his face. I'm dead. So the pre that we still got is the slugger melon. I highly recommend you guys get this pre-workout. And then we also take it with the pump pre. I actually took the pump pre by itself. This is actually like a very good tasting pre-workout. Sometimes like the pre-workout could be like a little bit chunky in the inside because of the powder formula. But this formula is actually good and I really highly recommend you guys get this one. If I had to give a rating for the pre-workouts, I'd give the Slugger Melon Extreme a nine out of 10. And then the Pump Blue Steel, I'd give a six out of 10. Now, pump wise, it's a 10 out of 10 or like a 9.5, but taste wise, a 6. No pump breeze ever gonna taste that good. I mean, I Stack them together, 8. Also, we're taking El Sizzling with it, also. I'm not. We already got enough El Sizzling. Hmm? Make sure you guys use code TTG at checkout on alphaline.com. That's the best way you guys can support us. And you guys are gonna get some amazing supplements. Is that the uh, extreme? Hmm, this is the pump. So what, what ratio do you do? I just do what it says on the back. It says one scoop and then I take a half a scoop of that. I like to do maybe a quarter scoop of this and then a half a scoop of the pump. Also, I'm gonna put you guys on to something else I like to do. There's the one scoop of the pump and then we'll do like a quarter. Little tip I like to do is you use pink Himalayan salt, but I'm using regular salt. Just a few drips of this. It's gonna help the sodium, especially but for the it gym. Absorbs, it absorbs all the water to make your veins pop. Sodium's good for the gym. That's how you get that pump. If you want that pump, drink sodium. Or especially carbs as well, rice cakes. Rice cakes are really good. 50 calories. Mm. That shit is so thick and nasty. It ain't gonna taste the best, but it tastes like salty cooling. Yeah, like, it's gonna taste <laughs> weird. Mm. That salt does add a little thing, but to be honest, I don't really give a fuck. We care about the pump. This is like not related to gym. Dude. See, it was like two weeks ago, almost around. We'll say, look, I'll just throw the date up on the screen. But, dude, my favorite wrestler, CM Punk, is finally back in the WWE. If you guys didn't notice about me, I'm the biggest WWE fan. I'll throw my reaction of me uh, seeing CM Punk come back. He's like, he's fucking back! Oh, Roman Reigns! Oh. Roman Reigns is done, boy! When me and Eli were watching it, Eli was like, bro, how do you feel that Roman Reigns? How do you feel about Roman Reigns? And I'm the biggest Roman Reigns fan, but... I've been down one since CM Punk. And right now it's kind of cool talking about how WWE is in like a blooming area. And I go to the gym and everyone's talking about WWE. So let me know if you guys talk about WWE because I can make like a lot of WWE content on TTG too. And talking about like my thoughts on stuff like that. We're currently on our way to the gym right now. You guys have been wondering where we've been. This is where we've been. I feel like me personally, we're struggling to find our identity when it comes to YouTube videos. I don't want to do like the cringy shit like that. If I don't hit it for 10 reps, I got to do a punishment or like no disrespect like the James or Jesse James West. If you guys know that type of style, like the Mr. B style, I don't like that. I like to do like the, um, the trend twin Sam Solik, like where they're just them. 
They're not playing a role. They're not playing like a character. Because to be honest, like every time we make a video, that is just us. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? We have so much information and so much knowledge, but it's so hard to give it to you guys because we don't know what you guys want. So if you guys, you know, you want something, just let us know. We have so much knowledge and plus like with social media, we can like talk about, yo, if you guys want to start, not even like fitness shit, like even if you guys want to start like social media, we have like information on social media, like what videos do good, different strategies. And then like one thing that we've been really studying hard is like business. Like, cause at the end of the day, like this social media thing is a business at the end of the day, if you want to call it that. And then starting like a brand and building an audience. Like we can like talk about things like that. Like these are other things that we're passionate about. Same with like business and other things like that too. I'm gonna smile on my wrist because I put a cologne on, but if you guys want to use the code TTG at yeah. Alpha Line, cool. It supports us and we appreciate it a lot. If you guys don't, that's also cool. Yeah. You guys watching the video, liking the video, that is enough for us. We don't care. We're not all about making that money. Man. You know what I mean? Obviously, that money is yeah. cool, but we want to build a genuine community. Man, because at the end of the day, when we first started this actual journey, like when we started on TikTok, we were like, bro, we're just doing this as a passion project. And at the end of the day, I sort of focused on like bro like once when this shit becomes like a job or not a job but more like a not passionate dude this shit really doesn't get fun anymore and i'm gonna tell you this you have to be you have to have fun doing the things that you like to do in life i agree and there's a reason why our programs are so cheap if you look at our programs they really aren't expensive at all mm. they're affordable and our whole thing is to get you guys going in the gym we don't yeah. care about trying to make it 35 bucks and get the bank most bang of yeah. our buck fuck all that we want you guys to get in the gym and get right. It yeah, is what we're it not is. gonna have you guys drop fifty dollars on a program like, dude, fifteen bucks. And honestly, it's cheaper on the TikTok shop or TikTok series, like, yeah. than it is on our actual website, dude. It's two dollars cheaper on the no, um, no, no, because four dollars. Yeah, because, and we make less. Yeah, and we make less money. So, like, at the end of the day, like, dude, we're willing to take L's for you guys. Like, exactly. You guys put us in this position anyway. Like, us even having an audience, and and it really. Sometimes I stay in my room, I'd be like, dude, I really don't understand how much, like, people genuinely, like, fuck with us. I think a like, lot of... We got around 50,000 people on each platform, and, like, dude, sometimes, like, <laughs> I'll take it for granted. Like, you'll look at it as a number, but, dude, at the end of the day, all you guys are behind the screen, too. Be real, be authentic. Like, I feel like the fitness industry lost that. It lost the realness, and it lost yeah. the authentic. Everybody's in this industry to make money and not fuck with the fans, and that's a fact. Put it to the gym. So our gym, this has been our baby for a minute. About to be, guess what? Guess how long it's about to be since we've worked out? Three years. Three years. In a month, it's going to be three years since we started the gym. 2020, during the, you guys already know, the pandemic era, a lot of things changed. Especially, like, after you graduate high school, everything's different. I'm not going to lie. You know, you're not living that high school. Like, I, I always say I'll this. say one thing after high school, you're at a loss, period. Like, after what, from that age of, like, 19, because I'm 22, and from the age of 18 to 19, you're kind of lost. You're like, bro, I don't know what the fuck I want to do in my life. And then they'll be like, yeah, you got to be passionate about this. Go do this. Go get a career. Bro, if you guys are lost right now and you have no passion for anything, dude, go to the gym or do something productive with your life and find purpose. That's what makes you want to wake up every day is purpose, honestly. You got to have a purpose and a why. Mm. Why are you doing it and what's your purpose? You have two, those two things, you'll make it. And bro, if you want to be an uh, influencer, do it. I don't care what anybody says. I've seen a video on my TikTok like, oh, you know, you know, we graduated. But, oh, there are people in, or in our school posting to be a content creator. They're laughing at you, but you're trying to chase your yeah. dream. And you know what's crazy? They're doing the same thing. They're mm. posting about it because they want to be an influencer. If you know you want to be an influencer, it don't matter if you have zero followers, 50 followers, 100 followers. Keep posting. You will always make it if you don't quit the in, in life. Yeah. And the only thing that's going to happen is if you quit, then that's the reason why your social media is going to fail. Like, think about it, bro. If we would have quit what we're doing right now, like, a year in, dude, we wouldn't be able to have, like, all these people that actually, like, fuck with us on different and platforms. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys like these type of, you know, videos where we're kind of being real with you guys and just talking. It's hard that nobody does this anymore. Everyone's all worried about just content, content, instead of talking to the audience. Like, we're looking at you guys and talking to you guys. And it's and, and it's kind of weird trying to conduct yourself on a camera. Yeah. And that's one thing that I suck with. Like, I, I do suck, and I'll admit it. Like, I do admit to my flaws. 
and I suck at conducting myself on the camera a lot. It might not seem like it to you guys, but the knowledge that I have up here is way different I than what I to learn, execute. I think I know the reason why. I'm starting to think I should just go. I know the reason why not thinking about it. It's hard that, you know, we suck on cameras when it's not real and authentic. Like, when we're doing vlogs yeah, like, and we're just talking to you guys, it's so easy yeah, just for me to talk like about I'm what I'm doing. Right yeah, but I'm talking about what I'm doing. When you're trying to make a, a short form content killed everything, mm. it did. You're trying to get your point across in and 30 seconds. And you're trying seconds. to get it like this. Like, dude, these long form videos, dude, you literally just sit in the car and just talk. Yeah. And I know this video probably might not get a lot of views, and I'm cool with that. I, I think I got out of the mindset where with the YouTube videos, I don't care about the views. Obviously, I want them to do really good, but I want to build a community, yeah. and I want to build people who fuck with me. I don't know if you guys seen our gym, but look how they got upgraded. They got the flooring and everything. They got rubber plates. We're supposed to be delicting today, but Zay broke the lever belt. Don't let him fool you. He broke it. I break it. it was squatting. Bro, he bro. dropped it right here and he broke it. Broke you, no, no, bro, you broke, broke it. The lever was already snapped. No, it was not. How did it break when you were done using it? I wasn't using it that day. It was already broke one time. Dude, no, it wasn't. He failed a PR. <laughs> the belt was right here. He picks it up and it's broke. That's why he's smiling. Now we can't deal it, but it's all right. I'm gonna weld that motherfucker together. Watch. Well, I'm gonna weld it. I, what if the belt was in, bro? The gym has belts, but it ain't the same. Like. The belt's not broke. It's just, it's just a new lever on it. It's probably the other best one, but nah. That's a bodybuilding belt. Right now, I'm just trying to stretch out my chest because my chest is sore from yesterday from hitting push. Make sure you're stretching out your chest. And then stretching out your You're not stretching out your chest right now. You're stretching out your shoulders. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about when I stretch out my chest. How are you stretching out your chest? No, I'm not stretching out my chest on here. I'm talking about when I'm going to. How are you going to do it? Watch, I'm going to make sure he knows. <laughs> this dude smiling because he thinks... Bro, the first workout that we're starting off with is machine row. But this not just machine row. Yeah. Make sure you're using the top handle. Yeah, so I'll do. Target the upper back today. Yeah, this is strictly just to grow the upper back. We are not doing the middle because we're going to be doing lat workouts to begin with. So, strictly upper back with this. It's just a warm up. It's still a warm up set, so I'm only going to try to do six reps. No more. Yeah, six, so. I normally do around like four to six, eight. Or not four to six to eight. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying? It's four to six. Y'all probably hear a young boy playing in the um, headphone today. Be trying to turn up. <laughs> I can't have headphones on because I'm filming. <laughs> so in case we didn't say that already, this is our low volume high intensity back workout. This is off our program. What I want you to do is I'm gonna go for six to eight. Everything six to eight, slow and control. Put your finger, make sure I'm keeping that phase. If not, make sure you're sitting on this. I was gonna buy on stand up. Why? I stand up because I like the I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it don't matter, but to make sure you put my finger, make sure I'm squeezing it. Probably eight right there. Next set, I could probably get 
Sing, what did Drop say? Record the tempo. This one's pulling back more, and then this one's kind of like, my right arm's always been stronger than my left. Make sure you drop your shoulder. So we use straps to help your grip. So the first thing that will give up is your form. No, no, no. Your grip will give up before your actual form. No, your grip, you'll realize your bicep and forearms will give out yeah. so this before your back. Up. Yeah, so all this will give up, but grip, or, uh, what this allows it to do is when you're wrapping around, it's pulling, let's say you're pulling with your hand, you're pulling with your form. So when you wrap it, you'll go like this. To keep on the simple terms, using straps is going to get you an extra three reps. Yeah. Hypothetically, it could be more, it could be less, but it's going to get you extra reps. And then straps also come in this, like this kind and that kind. One, two, one, two. Slow down a little bit. Remember, put them out, flare them out. You're trying to target the upper back. Flare your elbows out. You want to target the upper back and your rear delts and everything. So you flaring your elbows out is gonna target that. You keep it on closer, trying to target like your lats. There you go. Yep. Come on. Keep them flared out. Remember that. I always say I forget what it is. Your thumb is where you're um, gonna torque it. You're doing a lap and you come low, you're gonna hit a lap. If, if you put your thumb down and you come back, you're gonna torque it like the upper back. So keep your thumb going out the whole time. You wanna torque it the upper back, exactly. That's your whole goal, is to grow this up here. There we go, hold. There we go. So one thing I've always learned, is your thumbs, here's a little tip I, I should say, your thumbs detect where you're gonna target with your back. If I have my thumbs going out like this, look where I'm hitting, and that'll be back. Yeah, it's like a row. If I have my thumb to right here, the neutral grip. If I have my thumb coming all the way down, it's gonna hit that lat. So always think about that. If you're saying, oh, I don't feel it on my upper back, is your thumbs coming all the way out, or are they coming in? It, de it matters about the grip, the grip you have. This is upper back. This is more like that neutral grip. Next we're on wide grip like pull downs. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of tips I like to do. Number one, I like to look up. I don't know what it does, but it feels like it lets me not cheat. Number two, when you're coming down, make sure it's coming down in a straight line. A little tell you like to know is if you have lower back pain, you're arching your back too much. So here's one of my warm up tests. Coming up. 
hitting that upper chest. And just squeeze so, uh, it. Lean up a little bit and then pull back. Now when you pull back, I want you to emphasize. All that right there. Yeah, like move with the. That's a warm up set. If you guys follow those little cues, you'll feel it a lot more, especially it's going to blow up your lats. You're leaning too far back, so scoot back a little bit. Nope. There you go. See, right there. He, he, he's killing that momentum, and that's when he realized, oh snap, I'm doing it wrong. Yep. One thing that I can't do, I can't go as heavy as I want to because I injured my fucking injured my arm again. Again? Yeah. Damn. What's up, man? What's going on? Perfect. I take back what I said. You got it perfect. Slower. Slower. Slow. Slow. Squeeze, squeeze at the bottom. You know you can't do a lot of weight, so focus on the tension. Yup. Hold for a second. Hold a little bit longer. Hold. There you go. That look like that. I'm speed breath. <laughs> Six. When I do my drop set, I like to drop about three to four notches. That always looks like I'm quitting. That's one thing I hate about watching the videos. You'll go so quick and I never just stop. Come on, focus. There we go. Keep it exactly like that. Yup. Maybe got one more. Focus. Thing just beat me, man. <laughs> now everyone D handle wet pull downs. They're not pull downs, but they're like high to low rows. I don't know what they're called exactly. They're like D handle pull downs. The whole goal is this to focus on that lat. This will blow up your lats. This is the number one workout that blew up my lats. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. You can do this standing, kneeling, or not standing, but kneeling. I like to get a seat. <laughs> Oh, 
that was five, but I did six with the single leg. That's gonna put a lot of emphasis on that lower leg. And when you go flex from here, you'll see your, when you front flex, you'll see it from the bottom. So I don't like doing that flat movement that Eli does. I like just doing high to low. When I do these, I really make sure I have my chest up. And I like using straps on here and then I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not. How's your biceps? It's hurt when I'm stretching it like that, going down. I still gotta keep putting on more heat and compression on it. Bro, if you're gonna feel it hurting, don't do it. No, it's not hurting, hurting, but it's like I feel it when I go down. Make sure you're fully stretching. There you go. There you go. Probably got like one more in you. There you go, keep that same pace. <clears throat> So this is my last set. Once again, I'm starting off with my left since it's the weakest part of my back. Let's say if I get a certain amount of number, I gotta make it up for that on my right. <coughs> Keep the elbow tight. Yep. Even come closer if you can with the elbow. There you go. How many did you get? Since I hit like six and a half, I just hit seven on there because I got like a partial six, almost seven. So I'm not just gonna hit six and not get that other part. So next movement, the next movement that we're on are cable row and then we're done with back. Optionally, we can uh, hit shrugs too. So I'm probably gonna hit shrugs too. I'm not gonna hit biceps that old. For the neutral grip, we're gonna be using the mag grip. Make sure it's straight or you can get the one that's 19, but I'll give you the one that's straight. I'm doing one warm up and then um, two working sets. I'm gonna start up with nine. One thing about the magic, you can't use the straps. I seen a video you could, but I don't use them. So 
So I definitely can, I was saying that for eight. I think I could go up to nine or maybe 10. If I'm feeling a little bit light and feeling good on my arms, I'll go up to 10. So I just gotta figure out how nine feels for my working set. With this, I don't really like to go heavy, heavy, where six is like un uncontrollable. I find a neutral kick is harder for me. So I like to kind of put the volume in, so I won't do a heavy, heavy weight. I'll really focus on just squeezing the back the whole time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do one set on here and then one set of shrugs. That's what I'm doing. You can do the two on here, but. I'm gonna do the two and then I'm gonna bang out as many shrugs as I can till failure. And then that's it for me for the workout and then he's gonna hit biceps. So I'm on shrugs right now. As you can see, we're on the flat bench machine and I'm gonna show you guys. We learned this a long time ago. I forget who told us about it, but one of the best things you can do is four shrugs. We didn't really see, no one really told us. We just seen someone hitting shrugs over here. That's what I mean. There you go. One thing that I find great is hitting shrugs with the straps especially on the flat bench it's because I can go a lot I can get a lot more reps in when they're just using my hand I just know the music's playing in the video <laughs> happened I remember doing it the one time when we were uh had a video on and the music was playing in the back that's it for cable, I'm going for shrugs, you know? So for bicep, I only do two workouts. I do a preacher curl and a hammer curl. The reason why I do, the reason why I do a, a preacher curl is because I want to grow my peak for the bicep. So I like to spam preacher curl. And then if you guys see this right here, like that's your brachialis. And that's what makes your bicep look thicker. So I always did those two. Actually, I always did regular curls and then hammer curl, but I started adding this back in. If you've seen Zay's bicep, he got a really good peak. So that's why I like, I like to do these. Right now, that shit injured. <laughs> Biceps, you don't have to do heavy weight. It's a small muscle group. So just worry about trying to get a little bit more volume in, focus on the squeeze. Trying to go really nice and controlled on here. 
Like I don't just fucking fuck my shit up. Cause that's some heavy happening. Fuck is that in your arm? Right here? No. That right there. Oh, it's your fucking stretch marks. <laughs> I'm like, bro, there's like a weird I'm like, dude, it looked like someone burned the fuck out of him on his arm. That's the workout from our low volume high intensity mm -hmm. program. It's like our newest program on our um, <coughs> on our um, programs list. <laughs> but yeah, like this is out for free. Usually this costs money, but this back in mind, like you guys can take this, run with it, do yeah. what you gotta do. Like we said, we're all about giving back. We just rocked at the gym session. Honestly, it wasn't bad. It was what definitely a mellow day. You can tell the weather has an effect on the work. I don't care what anyone says. Like when it starts to get bad weather, that's when you really gotta tap in with the yeah. mind. That's when you gotta tap in some David Goggins shit. No, for <laughs> real. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you enjoyed the video, just leave a comment saying, you know, what type of videos you wanna see and what we what we need to improve on. We wanna make it not editing as much. Yeah. Kind of like a laid back type of style. If you guys enjoy this video, like, subscribe, do all of it. It's a TTG takeover. <laughs> I'm not afraid to